Okay, um, I'm trying to find the light. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to get on here because the Holy Spirit like dropped something in my, my heart. And basically he was like, Nina, if you're not, sub if you don't submit to me, then you're not going to submit to your husband. Hey, Shara. <laughs> He was like, if you don't submit to me, then you're not going to, if you don't submit yourself to the Holy Spirit, then you're not going to submit yourself to your spouse. And this is for um, the women and the men out there. Um, I know that I'm not married and I know that like, you know, I don't really have a track record of like, you know, being married and stuff like that. So if you don't want to listen to me, that's totally fine. I completely understand. Um, but I just, I'm here to talk to the single folks, married folks, whoever wants to listen um, because I do believe that, you know, people who aren't married, I do think that you do need to prepare yourself <clears throat> for marriage. And by doing that is, um, <laughs> Shara's so stupid. Um, um, let me talk, Shara, gosh. Um, but, um, yeah, like in order for you to like prepare yourself for marriage, I do feel like it's really, really important to, uh, learn the discipline, learn to discipline yourself to being obedient to God's voice. And one of the things that just piggybacking off of what the Holy Spirit told me, um, which is if you don't submit to, if you don't submit to the Holy Spirit, then you're not going to submit to your husband. And like, I use an example. I don't like to clean. I'm not really, I, you know, um, yeah, I just don't. Um, <laughs> and look, there's an, there's an explanation for that. Okay. Um, back in the day when, you know, when I was younger or, or whatever, my mom and my dad, we would have like extensive cleaning regimens. Like literally like Saturday was the day that we would wake up and you want to chill and watch cartoons. But your mom's like, nope, get up and clean. Shut up, Shara. Nope, get up and clean the, the house. I mean, we would like, we would do, I mean, literally, like, we, I felt like Cinderella because like she would make us take the, the dishes out of the, the kitchen cabinets and like scrub the cabinets. I mean, who scrubs cabinets, y'all? Like, do, do any of y'all scrub ca cabinets? Cause I, I mean, I would never think to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like we like, we did extensive cleaning. Like we would, sometimes if we didn't like get certain thing, things on the floor, we would have to like hand scrub stuff. And my dad, oh my gosh, like he was called, the, like literally his nickname should be the picker because like after we would like vacuum, or even if we didn't vacuum, if there was stuff on the floor on the, shut up, Sheriff. If there was stuff on the floor of the carpet, yo, we would have to pick up the lint with our hands off of the carpet. He'd be like, pick, 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 pick. Like literally like pick, pick, pick. And I'd be like, so now that I'm older, it's like, I hate cleaning, you know? Like, because literally like we were like Cinderella, like we, Shaka G. But yeah, we were like Cinderella, man. So, so, you know, for instance, using that example, as far as like me not liking to clean, uh, I know that a lot of men, they love their, they love to come to home to a clean house. I know there's a lot of men that always say, what is one of your pet peeves, especially in church? They're like, we want to come home to a clean house. And, um, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, if y'all dudes like to come home to a clean home, I hope you guys know how to clean um, because it just doesn't make any sense. Like a lot of times men, they will, they will, not just men, but women too, they will require something out of their spouse to do, but they themselves don't want to do it. And then they get mad at their, their spouses because oh, I got to come home to this, this, this messed up house or blah, 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 blah. And you know, one of the things that, that I've just seen just in marriages and just me looking at people that I know in my life, uh, you know, men or married men will get mad at their wives for not washing the clothes. And it's like, well, why am I coming home to a, a, a messed up house? But it's like, you don't realize she worked long hours at the job. Then she has to come home take the kids a bath, do their homework, and then you're mad at her because she didn't put some clothes in the in the in the in the washing machine. You know, and it's just like that's not okay. Like, you know, if anything in that moment, I'm pretty sure that the Holy Spirit would want you to humble yourself and to become what? Like a servant and say, "Okay, 
Let me not get mad at the fact that the house is dirty. Let me humble myself. And let me just put the, 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 uh, the clothes in the wash myself. Let me help my wife or vice versa. Let me help my husband. You know, a lot of times um, what happens in marriages that I see is we people become comfortable with each other. And it like like sometimes your wife can be can just your relationship with your wife or with your husband can become common and you treat them very common like instead of keeping your mind renewed by the holy spirit keeping your mind right exactly shaka g entitlement that's not good right like keeping your mind renewed and stayed on christ and if you if your mind is stayed on christ like i said we're not going to always be you know, perfect at this, we're going to mess up. But what I'm saying is in those moments that we fall, you know, we have to remember, we have to keep our minds set on Christ. If our mind is set on things above, then we're going to want to be like Christ. And Christ came to serve. He came to be a servant. And I think if you keep that mindset of, oh, okay, uh, the house is dirty. Oh my gosh, I, I told her I want her to clean the house or I told him I want this done. But then you, you just neglected everything everything that she just did that day and instead of you just kind of saying all right let me not let me let me like focus on the good this is what she did do today let me help her you know um i see it like i said i see it all the time um in marriages and i think that um the be the greatest thing that we can do the greatest thing that we can do is yield ourselves to the holy spirit if you don't yield yourself to the holy spirit your marriage it's doomed, you know, <laughs> it's doomed because <clears throat> when I think about, you know, being yielded to the Holy Spirit, you're going to yield yourself to your, to your wife. And that's one thing that, that the Holy Spirit gave me, that if you submit yourself to me, Nina, then you'll submit yourself to your husband. And the Bible tells us to, to submit ourselves one to another. That's what the Bible tells us to do. So, um, so yeah, you know. If you want a successful marriage, um, you need to uh, be intentional about submitting yourself to the Holy Spirit because there will be times, there will be times where um, you'll be put in situations where you can, you can kind of have a selfish mentality and you can think about yourself and then you can totally forget about the, you know, the, the goal. The goal is to... To, to, to win together like you can sometimes forget that we're in this together like like you're not my enemy I'm not your enemy the enemy is the enemy we all know who the enemy is that's Satan you know which what is what is his you know thing to do he wants to kill steal destroy he wants to cause division you know he wants to you know destroy the things of God you know and make a mockery of God so you know if we can attack the the common enemy which is satan then and then we won't really harp on the little stuff you know really it is little a lot of and and i was just like i said some of the couples that i know and i listen to some of their um their issues with one another i'm like y'all this is so small compared to like and sometimes you and this is why in in as as married couples i do believe in um getting counseling on a regular basis like i don't i don't believe that you should just you know do this by yourself and just be in your little bubble i believe that community you know this is why we have the body of christ because we have community we have people who can hold um us accountable you need that godly community so that you can let so that your brother and your sister can say yo you tripping you know you got a good woman you got a good dude you need to you know you need to die to yourself you need to die to your flesh you know what i'm saying um so like i said a lot of things that i hear from certain couples is like it's not like y'all got so much that y'all built together there's so much that you guys can can work hard for if you just stop harping on the little stuff and letting the little things tear you apart then you really can come together as a strong team and conquer you know conquer your 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 struggles and conquer um things that you go through together you get through it together and then not only that you're if you're if you if you can like really just like not let the little things 
bug you, then when the big stuff comes, you're, you'll be even that much stronger, you know. And not only that, you'll be able to um, fulfill your purpose together. I do believe that there, you know, that when you when God brings two people together, there is a reason why he brought you together. And I think that, you know, if you kind of focus on or not necessarily let that be your main focus, but, you know, a lot of times if you know your purpose, you know, you and your par partner's purpose together, if you guys can like, okay, this is, this is why God put us together and we have this common purpose. And if anything, let's make a covenant, let's make a commitment to each other that we are going to fulfill that purpose because we love God. We submit ourselves to God. We submit ourselves to the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, that's pretty much all that I really have. Um, I don't really have any, any more to say, but, um, y'all keep praying for me, you know, as a single woman, um, you know, especially that, you know, I can, um, learn to, I guess, yield to God's discipline. Cause if I can yield now, you know, if I can yield to God's disciplining right now, then I think that once I get married, it'll be, I, I've already practiced it. You know, practice makes perfect, you know, like, and, and women out there or men out there, if you're in your season of singleness, practice, you know, being a good wife, you know, in the way, or a good husband. And the way that you do that is you, is you use God, you know, um, um, and his instructions and his discipline. I'm not practicing with you, Shara, okay? <laughs> I can't stand you. <laughs> but um <laughs> No, I'm not doing what I would I'm not doing what you're saying, okay? No, but yeah, I mean if 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 like I said, use God, his discipline, get in his word, you know what I'm saying? Really start to like live this this Christ walk. And I think that once you um get married, then you're like, wow, this is a cakewalk. You know what I'm saying? Like I already went through this with God. Like, you know, it'll it'll be like, you know how like, you know, you have little arm curls or whatever. And then after a while you do it. And it's like, okay, you get more like, oh, this ain't nothing. You know, so, so yeah, that's just basically it. Um, but yeah, I love you guys. And I hope that, you know, that helps somebody. So um, like I said, continue to pray for me and I'll continue to pray for y'all. We in this thing together, y'all. Bye.